Oh, hi, Shomi. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, so uh, today I'll be showing you and our guests here uh, how to repair a kettle as well as a toaster oven. Right, definitely. A kettle is definitely a common appliance. Oh, yeah, it uh, certainly is. So let's, let's, let's begin and see what's wrong. So do you remember what's the first step before we start any repair? Yes, we need to check if the kettle is getting any power. Can I turn it on? Mm -hmm. Well, the kettle certainly doesn't start, mm. but yeah, let's check using a multimeter. So we see over here that... Yeah, the base station here is definitely getting power. Let's, oh. Let me check the base station a little further, whether okay. the base station is fine. Okay, here I, yeah, I see that the base station is getting power all right. The base station uh, transfers electricity to the kettle heating element through the bottom connector. And this goes to the thermal mechanical switch that will turn the kettle off when the water starts boiling. So I guess we have to open up and check? Uh, yeah, that's right. So let's open this up. Okay. So. so uh, when opening the kettle, I noticed that this bimetallic disc was broken. Yeah, so this is the part that uh, cuts off the electricity once your water starts boiling. Mm, okay. Yeah, so uh, I replaced this little disc here and yeah, let's check if the kettle works now. Okay. Yeah, so just place it on the base and let's plug it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, hands off for safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yay, it's working! Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So, that I mean, was quick. Oh yeah, it was <laughs> like, I mean, as long as you systematically follow the steps to repair, uh, you can quickly find the fault. So this time around, we didn't even need to check the heating element because we had already found the problem much ahead of that stage and we fixed it way before that. I see, I see. Now I understand why you keep emphasizing that we must follow the steps when we repair. Let's follow the same steps again mm -hmm. and uh, try to fix a toaster oven that we have here. So let's take this away. Yeah, so let's follow the same steps again. Uh, check if the toaster is actually getting any power. Okay. Okay. And turn it to NCV. To, okay. And I will check. So yes, the oven is getting power. Can be turned on. No, but I... So the oven is getting power, but I can't get it to work still. So we probably need to look further into the oven. So let's follow our safety procedure and start dismantling the oven. Okay. Yeah. So actually, what are the common problems you face when um, repairing to, uh, ovens? Hmm, okay, so depending on the design, right? The mm -hmm. few usual components that an oven has are the thermostat, mm -hmm. the timer, and a thermal fuse, which mm -hmm. may be hidden inside the element of the oven. So in this case, the thermostat, it starts and stops the electricity supplied to the heating elements according to the temperature that you set. The timer will then stop heating the oven once the time is up. Oh, okay. So does the heating element actually spoil? Oh yes, of course it can spoil. So that is always the first thing that we check after we open up a heating appliance because uh, once the heating element is broken, there's not much that we can do beyond it. Okay. Do a quick check on the heating element. So... Yeah, so we run through the same numbers on, on the label. Yes. Uh, yeah, two, 220 to 240 and 1090. So okay. that's, it's like there are a couple of heating elements. Mm -hmm. So we shall do a true check. And with that. Yeah, so is the last one. So all our heating elements are clearly within their working uh, resistance. Oh. So the heating elements are fine. So means we need to look at other components? 
Oh yes, that's right. So in this case, I found that the timer does not connect the power to the heating coil, even though it's set to start. So, oh, okay. yeah. so let me try dismantling the timer. Um, okay, pull the lugs out. Mm -hmm. Oh, finally the timer is out. Okay, so is it we need to find a replacement for this part? Uh, yeah, that's right. But uh, over here, first, we what we try to do is service the existing components, see whether we can fix it. Okay. Uh, and, but in our case, we also practice uh, another thing that we call harvesting components. So let's say we have another uh, toaster oven that's beyond repair because the heater element is spoiled, we can mm -hmm. still you know, salvage the timer and the selector and other parts from that oven. So that's a good practice to have. Not everything goes to complete waste. Nice. Yeah, so if we try to fix this, if we fail to fix it, we can find a substitute from the other pool of appliances that we have around here. I see, I see. Yeah. So how much does it actually cost to find a replacement timer then, let's say? Oh, if you were to buy a new one, not much actually. Maybe four or five dollars, or even lesser if you order online and are oh. willing to wait. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, so without trying to repair this oven, I brought back. I could have thrown it away when it only costs, you know, four to five dollars to to fix it. Mm, yeah, that that is right. Actually, mm -hmm. many appliances are easily repairable. It's mm -hmm. just that we don't always try to fix them, but. I think we should, if not for anything, just to satisfy our curiosity. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so I think I've managed it. Well, yeah, I've managed to fix the problem with this timer and let's install it back into our oven and see whether it works. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I've managed to fix the timer back in place. Mm -hmm. So let's plug it in and see whether it works. Okay. Yeah. It's just a matter of safety. Mm -hmm. uh, since we haven't put the covers on, just don't touch anything ah. because you do not know what may shock you. So, okay. okay, let's put this that way so our audience can look at it. And let's plug it in. Okay, hands mm -hmm. off. And yeah, so let's try to turn this on. Oh my oh. god, yay, it's working now. Well, yeah, it is, <laughs> but. Let's make sure it's actually working. I mean, the light came up, but we do not know if it would heat up. So give it a minute, uh -huh. see okay, whether okay. it heats up. Okay. And after that, we can put it back together once we confirm it's okay. Great. So actually, while we're waiting, I have a question to ask you. You know, I have a brand new oven at home and it trips the house because um, I have no idea why, but I haven't thrown it away because it's a new oven and it's very sayang. So what do you think is the problem? You know, is so, it spoiled? So it's a brand new oven, you yeah. haven't plugged it in any time and yes. it trips your house as soon as you yes. plug it in. Okay, so... Uh, oh, well. actually, no, I actually bought it a year ago and I left it there because I haven't been using it because I was so busy. Hmm, okay, so for ovens, uh, even those that are built into your kitchen cabinet, uh, there's this thing called an isolating transformer. This is actually a safety device. So mm -hmm. in Singapore, due to our high humidity, uh, if an oven is not used for a prolonged period of time, uh, well, when you turn it on, uh, due to the humidity, the isolating transformer tends to trip your house breaker. Oh, so you can always okay. bring the faulty appliance over to RK and we can help you diagnose it and fix it most likely. Okay, yeah. sounds great. I see. Is that why we are advised to at least start the oven once a month to prevent that from happening? Yes, I mean, constant use is always good because it keeps all the components dry mm. and then you know it's unlikely to trip the moment you plug it in without a good reason i see okay okay great oh so as you can see uh it's warm and yep it, the oven's working fine so let's turn this off great awesome thank you so much for the lessons and for sharing so many repair tips with us Oh well, it's my pleasure to share all tips and tricks to, with all of you in RK and we all wish you a happy repairs. So today we've learned to fix a kettle and an oven for this lesson. I'm Shemaine and tune in to more episodes of our repair series to learn more with our repair Gopitiam repair coaches.
yeah, do come join us at Rebecca Pitiam. Uh, follow this info and to join our community. Thank you.